comedian whose show at the Edinburgh Fringe was cancelled on Saturday has been warned by organisers that it may have constituted a hate crime. And I have not only thought about this story and how we might handle it on the radio, especially in the, you know, the context of largely confected cancel culture um, being dreamt up by precisely the sort of people who've used the attempted murder of Salman Rushdie to attack leftists in the Daily Mail today. Um, I, I, I think I've got a way into it, but I'll take whatever you've got. So the act is incredibly offensive. I, I mean incredibly offensive. And that is what he is known for. You, you, you say Sadowitz, everybody knows that it is incredibly offensive. He is, he is not averse to getting his... You know, one of my godsons said to me the other day, uh, he, 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 I've got two godsons, they're brothers, and I don't know why, their mum must have had me on in the car or something like that, and, and I, I forget what we were talking about, but he's only eight, and he heard me say the word penis on the radio, and his big brother, he was so excited, he said, Uncle James said penis on the radio. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it again, lads, if you're listening. So Jerry Sadowitz is not averse to getting his, getting his penis out on stage, which, you know, if you're not expecting it, that's going to be quite a turn-up for the books, isn't it? And, and equally, I don't know that you should be required to expect it. I don't know if it's a, a prerequisite of going in, but if you had to name, if you had to name a comedian in this country... He's, he's Scottish-American, so in either country. He once got knocked out, I think, on stage in Canada for saying something rude about Canada. I mean, actually knocked out cold by an audience member. I don't understand the impulse to do that sort of comedy. But, my goodness me, if you had to name someone that does it, this fellow would be at the top of almost everybody's list. Um, it's the venue that have cancelled the show after members of the audience and staff allegedly complained. If anyone's got first-hand knowledge of it, you, you'll be more than welcome on the programme. But reading into it today, I think the venue have made the decision almost independently. I don't think the venue have made the decision because of the complaints. Because if, if you put on a Jerry Sadowitz show and didn't get any complaints, it would be because the doors were locked and no one could get in. I, I mean, you're always going to have complaints about a Jerry Sadowitz show because there's always going to be someone in the audience who, who thought they had the stomach for profoundly offensive comedy and then discovered that they didn't. He is said to have exposed himself on stage. There you go, told you. But this is not the reason given for the cancellation. It said it would not associate with content which attacks people dig people's dignity, and he used unacceptable language. He's accused of using a racial slur about Rishi Sunak, which I've heard was the P word, and derogatory remarks about women. Now, in most circumstances, that would be indefensible. And, and oddly, as, you know, uh, as someone who sort of leans towards freedom of expression and freedom of speech in some circumstances, but worries about incitement or, or, or the, or the what would you call it, the sort of green lighting of, of really unpleasant bigotries and prejudices, I struggled to come up with what the difference was. I, I, I struggled to, to frame my own thoughts. And a pal of mine really helped me out this morning, actually, when he just talked about the difference between saying something offensive to offend your audience, right, and saying something really offensive to endorse your audience's prejudices. And that, I think, is at the heart of this story. Is that making sense? It's not too complicated, because what you don't do with Jerry Sadowitz, unless you are, um, unless you are a bigot, whether you realise it or not, you don't now start talking about Bernard Manning or, or Jim Davidson. And this is the bit I don't understand. This is the bit we're going to talk about. Because... You could have two comedians saying exactly the same words to different audiences and they actually have different meanings. And that phrase there, which we're, we're going to talk about, is, is at the very heart of all of it, I think. The idea that you are saying offensive things on stage in order to outrage your audience versus you are saying offensive things on stage in order to delight your bigoted audience. So let's just focus on the P word, if indeed that is what he did with reference to Rishi Sunak, using the P word, that the people in that audience are, are disgusted and outraged and shocked by it. 
But if they were themselves racists and they were watching a racist comedian who used exactly the same word, they'd be cheering it to the rafters. So how can you penalise one comedian and not penalise the other? How can you say that that racist comedian is, is not allowed to use the P word, but that profoundly anti-racist comedian who is saying the most outrageous things he can think of because that is his living, that is his career? Do you see? So I, I don't know, and I've got a lot of mates in comedy, as you know, 